osteoarthritis and ulnar centralization. But they have the fair share of problems <coughs> or uh, concerns where most often they have pain by ear, wrist instability or arthritis over the long term, grip strength deficit, issues with union of the osteotomy sites, and often the pronation and sublination deficits in these uh, situations. So uh, whenever we think of a durable and stable reconstruction <coughs> of the wrist, you know, all these points are required. And in case of its wrist arthritis, it's often the shoulder compensate for the loss of the wrist movements. So why wrist arthritis with ulnar translocation? Basically, it's a single incision surgery, no donor site morbidity, shorter surgical time, and translocated valna acts like a vascular pedicle bone. So there's a predictive uh, predictive reduction in the non-union rates. And uh, as evident in the example here, this is a dorsal midline approach, and the ipsilateral valna is translocated after the loss of the main line with the resection level. And uh, we use a 3.5 mm dynamic compression plate, which is contoured uh, for the wrist arthritis position. And often, there's no additional soft tissue cover required. So this is a patient uh, who had a wrist arthritis ulnar translocation. So uh, the translocated ulna is in line with the radius and the third metacarpal, and it's fixed from a dorsal approach. So we had uh, 15 patients uh, on the mean age of 30 years over six years duration, and uh, 13 uh, situations were the dominant hand, and the mean resection length was 9.4 centimeters, and the mean surgery time was well weakened the tonicity time of 99 minutes. The majority of the patients were giant cell tumors where the grade three were uh, five recurrent five cases and one pathological fracture. The other three were displayed as osteosarcomas and one giant which osteosarcoma. So at a mean follow-up of 44 months and a minimum uh, follow-up of 14 months, we had uh, one patient with a local recurrence and had a bilateral lung metastasis, 26 months of the index surgery. The union of osteotomy sites at alnocardial and alnocarpal were 5 and 4.5 months. The resection margin was not <coughs> and uh, we had only one issue with the improper contouring and ablative uh, prominence. But as a function, scores were uh, good to excellent, and there was no variation in grip strength or contractor size. So this is a patient uh, at four years of follow-up with good function. This is another patient again at three and a half years follow-up who's able to do most of the activities. So uh, there are, this is actually a paucity of literature regarding ulnar translocation <coughs> with this uh, type And uh, two of these articles have come from India where uh, there was uh, s small complications in the initial phase of learning curve. I think which have been uh, taken over now. The only concern is the narrowing of the forearm of the hourglass appearance of the limb. But as I portrayed in my article where all three are ladies, so the acceptance must be there somewhere. So the conclusion is that this could be a viable option for reconstruction after a section of complicated these <coughs> tumors. And if start lana harvesting and translocation is less time consuming, it may avoid the need of an additional donor site surgery and provide a stable risk for maintaining forearm functions and it's related to an expensive procedure also. Thank you. This paper is a hyperbaric oxygen therapy and it's very difficult to measure the resolution of the